Hey guys, this is Simon from the Caddisfly. Today I'm going to show you guys how to tie this little March Brown Emerger right here. Um, super killer fly that's hatch is coming up here soon. Um, and we'll get started. We'll do a little spin to show you guys what it's going to look like. It's got a little shuck off the back. Um, I like to fish these emergers or cripples a lot. I think fish really key in on the bugs in their transitional state. So we'll get started. So. Right here we have a um, Gamakatsu C12U in a size 12 for the hook. And for the thread that we're using is the um, Semperfly Nano Silk 50 denier. Um, this is a super cool thread that a lot of people I've seen have been using lately. Um, super strong and um, it lays super flat, which is really nice when you don't really want to bulk up a fly too much, um, which is kind of why I chose it for this one because there's a couple materials to make this shock and I don't want a really beefy back end of this fly. So we'll start kind of bringing a couple of wraps to the back right here where the shuck is going to stop, right here. So then we'll do that and then for the beginning of the shock right here, I have EP trigger point fibers in the March Brown color. Um, this will be the shock and the um, body of the fly. So I like to take a pinch of it right here. And then I like to double it over itself. And then pinch it off. just like this. So I like to tie that in here, bring it back down to where it's going to lie back here, and I like to trim the excess off back there. And then I like to take um, a little bit of Hairline's Crystal Flash and Root Beer um, off the back just to add a little bit of flash to that shuck because I feel like um, the fish like I said really notice these bugs that are kind of stuck in limbo between their nymph stage and their adult stage and I want them to notice that shuck on this fly so I like to put a couple pieces of small flash on Just kind of like that. And then the last part of the shock, I like to take a pheasant tail and take about three fibers from it and tie those in off the tail. And that'll complete kind of the tail and shuck combo right there. So I like to flip those down like this. Um, one side kind of points up a little bit, so I like to have that facing up so they kind of splay out back here. So, yeah, so we'll, that looks pretty good. So we'll tie that in and then bring this up and then we'll snip it off and do the body. So then for the body, um, like I said before, it's going to be EP fiber, the same stuff as the tail. But we're going to take a little piece of this um, Danville's .006 mono, Vivas also makes it. Um, and what this is going to do is just kind of add a little durability to the fly. So I like to tie it onto the top up here so I'm not encroaching on the hook gap down there. Um, Tie it up to here, and this is just going to make that uh, this body a little bit more durable. Um, I know sometimes people do it on a waltz worm, also with the mono and some other flies when you don't want like the flash of wire. But I've tied this before with fine wire also, and that works fine. So we're going to tie this same March Brown EP fibers in back here. 
um, add a little bit up here so that there's a little bit of a taper. Again, this stuff's not the best to build a, a body with, but I like how flat it lays for like kind of a more technical pattern like this. When you have a real thick thread, it can kind of get in the way, so this Semperfly stuff is sweet. So now we're going to take some wraps around this to build the body up and go right up to about here because we have to leave space for the um, kind of the thorax and the the wing and the hackle so take a couple of wraps over it like that trim off the excess and then we'll take wraps of this mono wire just so that when this thing's getting crushed on the river it's not coming apart on you. Um, it's one extra step that I think helps a little bit. Okay, so we're going to snip that off. So now we're going to take some um, Nature Spirit X Caddis Deer hair to make the uh, wing first. And um, this stuff's super fine, um, which makes it really good. It splays really well for this wing. So we're going to take a pinch about this big or so and trim it off. I like to use these little combs to get the under fur out, kind of like this. It kind of helps. I think it stacks, it stacks better when you can comb the back out a little bit. Um, and it kind of just loosens up those fibers so you can get it. So then we're going to pop it in our hair stacker couple smacks will make sure they're all even. So this part um, is kind of important so you don't crowd the eye. You don't want to tie it in right up against the eye. You want to leave a little bit of space to do the whip finish and so that you can see the eye. So we're going to tie it in, kind of measure first before we cinch it down. Right there looks good, and then we'll cinch it down right here. Do a couple of wraps until we reach where our EP fibers ended. Cinch it down real tight. As you can see, this Semperfly stuff lays super flat, and it's really strong, so you can really crank down on the deer hair. We'll trim the excess off. Um, and then do a couple of wraps in front of this. This space is what we really wanted to keep right here so that it, you can kind of tie it and it goes up too. So then to finish this fly off, we need a little bit of dubbing in here and then um, a hackle to help it float. You can tie it without a hackle if you want it to sit more in the film. This one's gonna be riding higher and with the shuck in back, that's why I picked this hook. So I'm gonna take one of these whiting um, hundred packs they're pretty cool um, when you don't want to commit to a whole saddle um, and they're sized which is really nice so this is a size 14 uh, one so I'm going to snip one of these feathers off pull a couple of these extra fibers off so you just have the quill under there and then we're going to tie this in right under here and then we'll use um, a little bit of this. I really like this stuff. The Hairlines Micro Fine Dry Fly Dub and Betas Tan. We'll just do a little bit of that. I really like it for small flies because you can put it on super sparse. It makes a really thin dubbing noodle so it's not going to like make this bulky up here which is nice. So we'll put a little bit of this dubbing in here just so that hackle has something to sit on. Do some wraps of this feather right here. This is one reason why I really like these rotary vices. It makes this super easy. Do a couple of wraps up here to tie this hackle off. And right now you can see why we kept that extra space up there because it pulled this deer hair forward. So now we have the space to kind of whip finish and make it go up right here. Um, 
Now we'll grab our whip finish tool, or you can do a half hitch. Um, do a couple of whip finishes. I like to do two. And then that's pretty much it. If you'd like to, something I do on most of my flies, if I remember, is um, I do a little dot of Solaris bone dry where I tie it off just to help it last so it doesn't come undone. Um, just one little dot right there glue it and then you're done and you have a sweet emerger pattern that will let me move it so you can see the shuck a little bit better yeah, you have a sweet emerger pattern that'll just like crush when the march browns are out